This week on The Muse, Paris plants new trees at Paragon Park and Rotary Park to both beautify the area and to offer shade for increasing temperatures. Plus, did you or one of your students attend Job Shadow Day? Karina Espinoza has the full story on an amazing event at the City Hall grounds with hundreds of local students. And we've got another installment of Let's Take a Hike, this time at Frank Eaton Memorial Park. And you won't want to miss this opportunity in the great outdoors. It's all ahead on the Weekly Muse and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. We begin today with some new beautification efforts happening around Paris, this time at Paragon Park. The City of Paris recently planted 65 trees at Paragon Park, imported from a local nursery, to help enhance the quality of life. The tree planting, which consisted of jacaranda trees, southern live oak trees, and carrot wood trees, was made possible with funding from the Federal American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. The ARPA funding now brings much needed shade to an open space park that will help line sidewalks and walking paths. As we head into summer months, these trees will offer a reprieve of shade to residents who still want to get out and about and enjoy a summer day. Additionally, Rotary Park is scheduled to get some shade as well, with trees being planted this week and slated to be installed and completed before the weekend. Special thanks to our Community Services Department for their efforts to bring much needed shade to this area in time for the warmer weather headed our way this summer and for doing all they can to help keep Paris beautiful. And this past week, the City of Paris hosted a job shadow day with local high school students to see the ins and outs of local government right here at City Hall. There's plenty of action buzzing around the City Hall campus and our very own Karina Espinoza has the full story. Karina? Thanks, Stephen. The City of Paris hosted over 100 high school students for today's job shadowing day. The day included opening remarks, tours of each department, in and out for lunch, and a Q&A forum. I think it's a very helpful to understand and to find more information about different types of careers that we are interested in and would help us guide ourselves to study more and, and what we like. At first I thought job shadowing day would be something like, oh, you're just gonna look at some jobs but you're not gonna really be interested. But it's, it's actually really interesting because I got in depth a lot with the IT department of what they do, um, how do they manage everything in the different departments and sectors of how they help people throughout buildings. And I was really interested in that. And I'm honestly considering and wanting to do an internship on somewhat in IT. I would tell someone who's not sure about joining Job Shadow Day to kind of check it out and still see what's out there. It's only a few hours and you really, you really do get a lot of information and it does help you like learn more about what you want to do, your career, your future job. For more information on future events, visit the City of Paris on social media. For Paris TV, Karina Espinoza. Thanks, Karina. A couple of events for you coming up to be made aware of. The City of Paris is a proud partner of the Amplify the Urban Forest Grant brought to you by CAL FIRE. Join us and help plant 2,000 trees across California this spring. We're going to be meeting up on Saturday, March 12th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Rotary Park as we begin the process of planting these trees. Residents can register in advance at catree.us slash PER. Questions about this program? Contact our Public Works Office at 951-657-3280. And also happening this Saturday, are you ready for some fun in the outdoors this weekend? Dust off those hiking boots and get ready for our next installment of our Let's Take a Hike series at Frank Eaton Memorial Park on Saturday, March 12th. We'll be meeting up for check-in at 8 a.m. for a hike to Coney Hill. The hike starts at 8.30, so make sure to be there in plenty of time to get registered. Don't forget some good hiking shoes and plenty of water for this two and a half mile hike. The event is free, but we do want you to reserve your spot and registration is now open on the city's website using the Civic Rec portal. And whether you're all about child's pose or downward facing dog, we've got a relaxing yoga experience just for you. Join us for Yogas in the Garden every Monday in March from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the Paris Green City Farm. 
Residents can participate in a full yoga experience in our quiet and serene garden and find their inner selves. This is a great chance for some relaxation in the cool weather, and residents can reserve their spot by using the Civic Rec portal on the city's website. And now for a look at your five-day forecast, here's Karina Espinoza with the weather. Thanks, Stephen. We will be experiencing some warming this week with highs touching the low 80s by Monday. The wind will change direction and blow mostly out of the north. We will see strong sustained winds today, blowing at 20 to 30 miles per hour with occasional gusts up to 40. So make sure and secure loose items around your home so they don't blow away. Stay safe, Paris. Back to you, Stephen. Thank you, Karina. Uh, we close today with a bit of more somber news. The city of Paris regrets to announce the passing of former Paris mayor and council member, Alfred Al Walter Landers, who passed away on Friday, March 4th, due to complications from the novel coronavirus, COVID-19. Paris remembers the dedicated public service of Landers, who diligently and humbly served our community as the first elected mayor from 1997 to 1999 and as a council member for 15 years, from 1995 to 1997, and again from 2001 to 2014. Landers was first elected to the city council in 1995 during difficult times for Paris, as the city was days away from being forced to declare bankruptcy and face the possibility of disincorporation, with severe change needed. As such, parks were shuttered, staff was laid off, and other municipal employees took major pay cuts. The city's 85-year-old police department and fire departments were replaced by the Riverside County Sheriff's Department and CAL FIRE, moves that stabilized the city's budget. Landers and the Paris City Council began working to attract new developers and businesses, such as Lowe's, Whirlpool, Haynes, Home Depot, and Ross, and revitalized Paris's bottom line. Landers was respected by past and present city council members and managers for steering Paris through some of its most difficult financial years in its history and for placing Paris on firm financial ground. He's been hailed for helping bring residential developers and major corporations to Paris, which have since provided thousands of local jobs and millions in tax revenues. Landers, who was born on August 31st, 1940, is survived by his son, Mark Landers, and daughter, Kimberly Corrigan. Landers spent his latter years focusing on his real estate businesses, traveling and spending time with his children and grandchildren. Arrangement details are still to be determined, and we close today's muse in memory of former Paris mayor and council member, Al Landers. Gone today, but forever in our hearts.